let's speak about the kinetic energy of the emitted electrons in the photoelectric effect. Take note how when I shine red light on sodium metal, nothing happens. When I decrease the wavelength by increase and therefore increase the frequency, take a look what happens. So I'm decreasing the wavelength, which is increasing the frequency. At some point, I will get electrons that are being ejected from the surface of the metal. Should happen somewhere over there. There we go. So now electrons are being ejected from the surface of the metal. The reason why this is happening is because I have reached the threshold frequency of the metal. So what that means is the frequency of my light, because I'm now using green light. Green light has a higher frequency. So the frequency of my radiation or my emissions or my light is higher than the threshold frequency of sodium. Therefore, electrons are being ejected. But now you might ask, ma'am, what happens if I continue to increase the frequency of the light? So let's see what happens. I'm going to change the light by decreasing the wavelength. This continues to increase the frequency. Look what happens if I increase the frequency right up to where I have UV radiation. Let's do it. What do you notice? What is happening? I don't know if it's obvious, but what seems to be happening is that these electrons are moving a lot faster. Their velocity has increased, their kinetic energy has increased. So remember in the previous video, we spoke about the work function and the threshold frequency of a metal. So let's pretend the work function of this metal is 10 joules. What that means is that the electrons require 10 joules of energy in order to be set free, in order for the electrons to escape from the surface of the metal. Therefore, if I shine light onto the surface of the metal, the photons of this light, if they have anything less than 10 joules, no electrons will be emitted. So imagine the photon's energy is 9 joules. Will any electrons be ejected? No, because my photon energy or my energy of my light is less than my work function. But let's pretend I make it 10 joules. It's equal now. Now, electrons have enough energy in order to be released from the surface of the metal. But what I need you to understand is if the work function is 10 joules, that is the minimum energy required to allow an electron to be emitted from the surface of the metal. If I match that with the light's energy being 10 joules. Yes, the electrons have enough energy to escape. However, they will not move off with kinetic energy. Think about it. We've just, just, just matched the work function. However, if I continue to increase the light's energy, the photon's energy above the work function, so let's say I do 11 joules now of light energy. So 11 joules that is my light or my photon energy. And my work function, remember, is only 10 joules. Uh, this is going to shine onto the metal. I only need 10 of that 11 in order to allow the electron to escape. So of the 11 joules, so let's break down the 11 joules. Of the 11 joules, 10 joules are basically to allow the electrons to escape. That energy is being used to overcome the attractive forces inside the metal, allowing the electrons to leave the surface. But then what about that extra one joule of energy? Remember, 10 joules is the work function. That's what we need to release the electrons. But I'm shining 11 joules of energy. That extra one joule of energy is going to be allocated to give the electrons more kinetic energy. So what that basically means is that we can create a formula that looks like this. We have the energy of the light. Some of the energy of the light is going to be used to the work, give to the work function, energy to allow the electrons to escape, and the extra energy is going to be given to kinetic energy, E, K, max. And this is the photoelectric equation. So in my example, if the energy of my light is 11 joules, the work function is only 10 joules, that means that one joule will be given to allow the electrons to move faster. So what that means is if I continue to increase the frequency of the light and therefore the energy of the light, remember this formula is E is equal to H times F. So if I continue to increase the frequency of the light, I will continue to increase the energy of the light and that makes this number bigger. So let's say I make this number 20 joules. The work function is still the same. It's 10 joules, which means I will then have 10 joules 
for kinetic energy. And that is why if I continue to increase the frequency of the light above the threshold frequency, and I increase the frequency more and more and more and more, as long as the frequency is above the threshold frequency and I keep on increasing it more and more and more, it's going to cause the electrons to move faster, higher velocity, and therefore higher kinetic energy. In the next video, we are going to discuss the photoelectric effect equation a little bit more. So I'll see you then. Bye, everybody.